If you're one of millions of Americans who have turned a little or a lot of your body into tattoo art, and now you're second guessing yourself and would like to remove it, or you're having some plastic surgery near it, it's probably a good idea to talk to a plastic surgeon about how to get rid of it. Tattoo removal is a moving target in its effectiveness because we're getting better and better devices, but it's still not perfect. Because even if you get rid of the tattoo, sometimes you leave a little bit of a halo, a little bit of a residual where you can tell there was something there before. Maybe better than the tattoo, but still something. Dallas-based plastic surgeon William Adams sees the tide of tattoo removal rising as his new patients become younger. I think it's going to become probably increasingly more common because they say over 50% of people under the age of 25 have a tattoo somewhere. Obviously, how well plastic surgeons can succeed at making a tattoo a distant and invisible memory rests on several factors. Depending on where it is, how big it is, what we're going to do, that may affect that tattoo, like we may remove half the tattoo, or we may, and sometimes the patients is like, that's great, I, you know, I don't like this tattoo. Sometimes they like the tattoo and we're thinking how we can not affect it. And another critical factor, who draws the tattoo in the first place? If it was professionally done, it's actually easier to remove because it's even depth. Sometimes it's an amateur deal and it, it's not easy to remove. For many plastic surgeons, all or nothing is the best, but going halfway, not so much. My first go-to is if I can change my procedure at all to get rid of all the tattoo, that's good or if I can keep all the tattoo and avoid the tattoo, that's good too. It's really when you invade the tattoo that becomes a problem. If you are going to go the removal route, it's probably best to wait until after the plastic surgery. Because most of it, we usually are gonna get rid of with the surgery itself. So why spend a lot of time removing something that I'm gonna remove anyway? But then we'll just take whatever's residual and actually treat that. In most practices that actually commit themselves to doing tattoo removal, you're going to have to have a couple devices there in order to do an effective removal of the tattoo. And it's going to take sometimes five to ten or more treatments to get complete removal of the, of the tattoo.